on guys today we are back with another episode here on Moiny Aquatics and Reptiles now today we have this topic of this thing now this was it can be helpful it definitely can be don't get me wrong there but I don't like it and I'll tell you why so when you turn this thing on you can set it to a predetermined temperature of what you want the temperature of the hot spot in this case for me with my bearded dragon uh, to be uh, the biggest problem I found with this uh, was that it did not really set it to the temperature that it's supposed to be at. Um, and what I found was that even though it's saying, yeah, it's at this temperature, it actually wasn't at that temperature. It was actually, I think, about 8 or 9, maybe even 10 degrees lower than what it actually was saying it was at. So, and I was able to tell this first because my bearded dragon started being a little lethargic and whatnot. I could tell something wasn't right and, well, eventually got to the point where it was so obvious that there was something wrong. Um, I had no choice but to look at this instead. Um, so I put my little digital thermometer that I have that doesn't, that's not this thing. Uh, it's just like a typical little thermometer you can get at just about any store that sells reptile stuff. Uh, and hooked it up there, and the actual temperature that was reading was probably about 85, 86, maybe 90 degrees if I set this thing high enough. Uh, anyways, it did not really work out as well as I would have liked it to. So I have taken this off and am now in just straight going in with the heat light and the heat pad, and my beardy is now fully back to uh, full motion, full excitement, full everything. Um, and she's doing a lot better than she was before. Anyways guys, this would be good if you have probably a snake or something like that that stays low to the ground and doesn't really go anywhere. However, if you, need some, if you have a little bit bigger of a lizard, that would be great. Uh, that doesn't necessarily have light to be... Um, on the ground or anything like that, or you have a lizard that is kind of, you know, doesn't like to be low to the ground or anything like that, or anything that climbs a tree or anything like that, I, I would probably wouldn't suggest this for it at all. Uh, like I said, this is in one of my last videos, this is the Zilla uh, digital thermometer uh, temp controller uh, bought at Petco. Uh, cost about 60 bucks, so that's you know, a pretty decent waste of money right there. Um, but, all in all, this is a... All in all, the operation of this is pretty good. However, I did not find it to be accurate enough to keep on using it. So that's why I am taking it off of this tank. And pretty much going to end up storing it downstairs unless I find a use for it uh, in the future. Uh, but given the fact that it only goes up to 105 degrees... On um, the set temperature, uh, I mean, they're going to be looking at a bearded dragon, a leopard gecko, another crested, something like that. Um, and I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'm going to be getting another lizard that requires that low of heat. Um, but, you know, that's basically my review on this thing at this point, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't really intending to do a review on it. Um, just kind of bought it as a nice little, like, hey, this will help you know, keep the temperature of my uh, habitat nice and even and make sure that everything's working and operating the way it's supposed to be. Well, as it turns out, that's not actually the case. And I guess this is what we're dealt This is what I'm left with. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And that's all I got for you today. Like and subscribe for more. And until next time, later.